Hi everybody, it is Charity. I am here today really quickly to do a video for you all about false eyelashes. Tips and tricks to put them on, how to find the right ones to get the look that you want, pretty much all of that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it then. The lashes I'm gonna be wearing today are in the style Dame by ColourPop. They're these little fluffy flared out kind of lashes. Now different style and shape of lashes is going to give you a different kind of look for your eye. If you wear a shape that's more rounded and has more fibers that are a little bit longer in the middle, like these ones, uh, these are Lily Lashes Brooklyn, you're going to get more of a baby doll kind of eye that makes it look wider and rounder. And with fibers that are really close together like this, you're not going to see as much of your eyeshadow when your eyes are open. So keep in mind of that. For a style like this, that's more flared out, has longer fibers out on the end rather than in the middle, you're going to get more of an elongated cat eye, which is going to be really lifting, but isn't going to make your eyes look very round. If you want to show off your eye look or your shadow or whatever it is a little bit more, then you're going to want to opt for a style like this that has a little bit more spaced out of fibers than one like this that has really thick ones. So all of these things are things to keep in mind to kind of accomplish the look that you want. I'm going to start before I even put on my lashes by tight lining my waterline, my upper lash line with a black liner. Today I'm going to be using this Coal of Honor liner from Sugar in the shade Blackout. It's just a typical coal liner, not that interesting. And I'm going to run this along my waterline, the inner portion of my lash line, just up here on my upper lid. On the bottom lash line, I'm going to use a different color I'm going to use a nude color instead. And the reason I do this is because when you put on a false lash, unless you're really, really good about getting it right up next to your lash line, you're going to get what appears to be a little bit of a separation in between. And it's going to be obvious, more obvious that you're wearing false lashes. So keeping this all kind of dark and the same color so that the lash band has something to blend into is going to make them look a little bit more normal and natural. Who do we have today? <laughs> this is Harriet. She is a porcupine. She's also a web. No, maybe she's not. Okay, no, she's not. I had thought she was a webkins. There's another one that I got. Maybe she is. No, oh, she's not. She doesn't have a W. <gasps> she does have one right here. Why doesn't she have it on her foot? When did they change that? Okay, anyway, false alarm. Harriet is a Whipkins, but she was not one that I had when I was a kid. So I didn't have her on my Whipkins account. I just got a couple stuffed animals from some people. They were giving them away one day and I got Harriet. Um, so yeah, she's a Whipkins. She's a cute little um, porcupine and she's a good friend. I'm gonna repeat that eyeliner on this other lash line. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, this step isn't necessary. Like, it's not something you have to do in order to wear false lashes. It's just what I like to do because I found it makes everything blend together a little bit nicely. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my upper lashes. Some people do this after mascara, I don't. I much prefer to do it beforehand and then coat with mascara afterwards. Um, really whatever is your preference. This part is really so that your lashes will end up curling up and easier meshing with the false lashes that you put on top. Again, it's not completely necessary. I don't do this step every time even, but if you have lashes that are especially straight, this can be a good step to kind of make everything kind of blend together a little bit better. 
After that, I'm going to be grabbing mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Some people like to put on their mascara after they've put on lashes because it helps to kind of mesh your real lashes with the false ones. I prefer to put my mascara on beforehand because I have found that my false lashes get less dirty when I do it beforehand. Um, and because of that, they're easier to care for and they last me a little bit longer. Okay, and once that bit is done, I have my lashes pretty much all prepped and I'm going to go in and put my lashes on. Now, when you pop open your lash box facing you, they're going to be set in there in the reverse, um, if that makes any sense. So looking at the box as you open it up, this lash is going to be for your right eye and this lash for your left eye. Looking at it straight on, especially when you first start wearing them can be confusing. Some brands will even label them for you, which makes it a little bit easier. With a style like this, it's easy to tell because they're flared out. It's pretty obvious which one goes on which one, but if you have a style that is rounded and looks pretty similar all the way around, it can be a little more confusing. You want to be gentle when pulling out a pair of lashes for the first time. You can either kind of try to grab the band with your finger and pull from there or grab just from the middle and kind of wiggle them off. These ones I've had for a little while so they're a little bit easier to get out but if, especially if you've gotten a new pair they have a little bit of adhesive on them typically to keep them stuck in there so that they look nice when you buy them. So be careful not to tug too much so you're not running the risk of pulling some of the fibers off. I had that unfortunate thing happen to me the other day. Thankfully it was only a couple of the fibers so you couldn't tell I was able to save the lashes but be careful, learn from my mistake. The lash adhesive that's my favorite is from Ilor London. This is the 18 hour lash glue. This one is in black. Some of them come in white, some of them are clear. This is my favorite one. I've tried a couple different lash glues over my time, but this one's just my favorite. I find that especially with this applicator, it's not a brush, it's like a plastic tip. And because of that, it makes it a little bit easier, I found, to get the right amount of product on and not use too much. And because of that, and also just the formula of the adhesive, it doesn't stay wet for too long and it's really nice and tacky. It stays on there really well. My um, ability to put on lashes correctly on the first try vastly improved once I started using this adhesive. Um, and I believe you can just get it at the drugstore or in the drugstore section of Ulta, so it's really not expensive at all. The amount of lash glue that you're going to want to use is going to be dependent on the size of your band. This band on um, this lash is pretty thin, so we're just going to use a little bit of glue. Pretty much just an amount that is the width of the band. I'm just kind of painting it on in little strokes. And once you have on the amount of adhesive that you need, this is an important step. You gotta wait. <laughs> wait, give it time, allow it to dry a little bit and become a little bit tacky, either just by letting it air dry or blowing on it gently. If you try to put your lash on before the adhesive has dried and become a little bit tacky, it's going to be a lot more wet and therefore slippery and it won't stay exactly where you put it. Let the adhesive dry down a little bit, become a little bit tacky. You're going to set it on your lash line and it's just going to stay right there. You're not going to have to worry about it slipping around. You might have to readjust the corners a little bit, but it shouldn't be too much, shouldn't be too much of a problem. You'll have a much easier time if you wait. Obviously, you don't want to be waiting very long because if you wait too long, it'll be a little bit too dry and it won't cling just properly. There is a sweet spot. You'll learn it just as you practice and with time. Uh, a good rule of thumb is about 30 seconds, but with your glue and the amount that you use and all that stuff, you'll kind of figure it out as you practice a little bit more. All right, it's been about 30 seconds, so I'm going to put on my lash. Some people like to use a tweezer or a lash applicator. I'll use that to fuse my lashes with my natural lashes. I'll show you that in a minute. But I just hold my lash right in the middle, 
hold up my mirror typically a little bit kind of lower than my eye line. I don't hold it just straight up on. A little bit lower down kind of makes it easier to see the lash line um, I found. And I'm just going to kind of angle it downwards so that it's kind of tucking itself underneath my natural lashes. Tucking it right up against them and pressing. I press in the middle first and come here and adjust the outer corner and then adjust the inner corner. I do all of this with my eyes open to make sure that I can see exactly where it's going. And then from here, I'll close my eyes, make sure it's all adhering the way I want it to and the place I want it to. And there you go. After this, I'm going to grab a lash applicator. This one is just from Lily Lashes. You can use tweezers for this step too, though tweezers are a little bit sharp and pointy, so I would advise against uh, using something sharp around your eyes until you've done it often enough that you feel comfortable. But I'm just gonna take my lash applicator, kind of around my lashes and the false lashes and squeeze. just to kind of make sure they're all fused together really nicely. And then from here, I'm going to grab a liquid liner. I'm just grabbing my Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I'm gonna close my eye and just draw a little line along the top of that lash line because the, the glue got a little bit messy at the inner corner and sometimes if your lashes aren't fully cleaned, you'll see they'll have a little bit of color. So this just kind of brings everything together Makes everything look the way it's supposed to. And there you go. So with a new pair of lashes, you'll likely find that when you pull them out of the case for the first time, they're gonna be a little bit too long for your eye line and you're going to need to cut them. My eyes apparently are larger than the average person. I almost never have to cut a lash. I cut one of my first pairs of lashes, it was actually the Lily Lashes Brooklyn because I had just gotten them. I'd heard you were supposed to cut your lashes and I kind of knew in theory how to do it, but I didn't quite measure them properly. And so if I was to do it again, I wouldn't have cut that pair because it wasn't necessary for my eye. My lash line is long enough that the whole lash can fit kind of the way I want it to. Um, but I'm gonna kind of just demonstrate how to cut your lash anyway. So if any of you are needing to, that you know how to do it. All right, so what you're going to need is your lash, of course, and a little pair of lash scissors, or I have, these are just brow hair scissors. They're from Tweezer Man. What you're going to go do, and we're, this is all gonna be pretend because I don't need to trim these, they fit my eye fine. But you're going to go ahead and take your lash and just put it right up against your lash line. Pretty much wherever you're going to want it to sit, like as far into your eyes, you're going to want it to sit. And then from there, you'll kind of be able to gauge. I put this one a little farther out so that I can kind of demonstrate what it'll look like, but you'll kind of see that either the lash, it won't be sitting on your lash line anymore, or it'll just feel uncomfortable or it'll start to kind of droop down rather than lift, which is a sign that it needs to be cut a little bit You'll put it on your eye and you'll be able to tell if it's too long for you. But what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to kind of measure where the end of my lash line is and where I think the end of the lash should be. And I'm going to grab the lash there and pull it off. And this takes a little bit of time. You can do this step as many times as you need, measuring to double check and make sure that you're getting it where you want it to be. Uh, let's say theoretically it was like right about there. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little scissors and I'm going to snip from the outer edge of the lash always, just snip from the band and pull that piece off. I'd always recommend trimming a little bit 
less than you feel like you need to going back and measuring again and then if you need to do more you can go ahead and trim more so that you're not running the risk of accidentally trimming off too much and then having a, a lash that's too short and looks a little bit wonky for you you want to trim on the outer end of the lash because the front end of the lash typically will be designed so that it's a little bit more spaced out and shorter and is designed to blend naturally in with your front lashes, which will typically be a little bit fairer, shorter, sparse. And on the outer edge, it'll likely be flared out a bit anyway, or if you have a rounder style, it'll make it appear a little bit more flared out if you're chopping off those shorter fibers on the end. But going from the outside is always just always going to be a better move than going from the inside. I'm gonna pop this other lash on real quick. And all right, I think that is everything. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything out. I didn't talk at all in this video about cleaning your lashes. If you want a video about that or just like a tutorial on Instagram, go ahead and let me know and I can do that for you guys. Other than that, that's all I have for today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if this is content that you are interested in. I do makeup, I do skincare. Sometimes I do fun videos with my husband and you meet a new stuffed animal in every one. So come along, join the party if you haven't yet and like this video if you learned something today. <laughs> and I love all of you guys and I thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, so the lashes I'm going to be wearing today are the shade, I always say shade, it's not shade. I have to clean my leg, I just got like stuff all over my leg. Lovely.